Hello guys, Alicia Graham from here today and this is one of the first videos on a Covert. Uh, so today I'm doing anti robot links, both of them. I got the kit from Covert Kingdom. Um, so like I said, I'm going to show you quickly what they look like now and obviously going to show you how I'm going to replace them. I finally got the heating working guys. It's awesome now, it can feel nice and warm. It definitely makes a massive difference, especially in this winter time. The workshop got nice and warm in about 10 minutes, that's great. Um, so yeah guys, I'm going to show you quickly what the links are looking like now and obviously we're going to start by taking them off and replacing them. Right guys, so here we got the offside front. As you can see, the bushes are deteriorating. Um, this side is not as bad, but the near side front is definitely worse. So like I said, this is one of the first jobs. I'm going to show you the other side. So I'm going to start by cleaning the thread and obviously undoing it and fitting the new ones on. Right guys, so I'm going to start by cleaning a little bit of the dirt and rust off so it comes off easily. Nice, clean now. Right, spray some maintenance spray of WD 40. So everything comes off. And in this case, 14 fits perfectly on that. So get a 14 at the bottom to hold it, and 14 deep socket at the top. And look at that, that's off. Nice and easy. Like I said, when it's clean and there's no rust, it makes the job a lot easier. So I've got them off. Just before you remove this, obviously, make sure you can see the way the new one's going to go on. I mean, you always got the other side one to look at, but you can see where the bushes go. So I'm going to do one at a time. There you go, everything's off now. Now I just clean everything and obviously fit the new one on. Right guys, so while we're here, the reason we're replacing the anti robot links is that it obviously helps the stability of the steering of the vehicle and when the bushes are worn, you're gonna get the metal noise, obviously when it's hitting it. So there's gonna be knocking. It can also be due to your D bushes as well, but the D bushes don't look too bad. I mean, obviously knocking can come from many different things, but like I say, I know the bushes, especially on the other side, they're knackered, uh, so we'll be replacing them. Um, that's obviously the reason why we're doing it today. So I'm just going to clean everything up with the wire brush. And fit the new ones in. I'm going to spray mate and spray around so the bushes can move around as well easily. Right guys, so here we got the old one, and there's the new one. I've put it all in the right order, all the bushes and the spacer. So when you're only doing one side um, at the time, you will need a bar to lift the anti roll bar up. But if you're doing both sides at the same time, there should be easier to move this up and down because obviously nothing's holding it on the other side. So we're going to be using a long bar just to lift it up slightly so we can fit the new bushes in. I'm gonna show you that now. So let's fit everything in the right place. Put that at the top for a second. Right. Get the spacer. In the bush, so now we'll get the boy in there, drop the ball down a little bit. There you go, that's lovely. So now we can fit the other one on the top and start the nut up. So, obviously, when you're doing it up, you're gonna 
move it slightly, readjust it so it sits in properly. So you can see that it's moving already. And when you're doing it up, just adjust it the right way. Right guys, so now we're ready to put 14 again on there. And obviously do it up. So you can see it will adjust itself. That feels tight. I'm gonna double check that with two 14s. So just hold the bottom one. Yeah, that's tight. That's good. There's no specific torque for these, but that is definitely tight. And they also got little cuts in in the metal there that locates the nut properly as well. So I'm happy with this side. So all I have to do now is exactly the same thing on the other side. Right guys, so as you can see, I've done this side as well. Now, like I said, it's nice and easy. Once you clean this thread, it does help a lot because the old ones comes off easy. Um, in case you've got corrosion, then the nut might get seized up and then you're going to struggle a little bit or end up cutting it all off if you're replacing it. But like I said, I myself prefer to clean everything to make sure it makes my job easier when I do it. And like I said, the new ones um, to go in, they're pretty easy. If you only do one side, use the bar to lift the anti-roll bar up to fit the bushes in. If not, just do both sides and the whole bar should come loose and you'll be able to lift it up, fit them in, tighten them up slightly and then obviously adjust them after uh, both of them are in. So I guess this guy's job is done on the intro bar links. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if this is something helpful for you guys, then please subscribe, like my videos. If there's anything else you need help with, comment below and I'll be moving to the rest of the car now. Bye.